Hello and welcome to our third episode of Behind the Badge. We're back. We're back. We've made episode three. Yeah, and uh, still listening as well. Well, they are, which is surprising. Yeah, but well, really. um, we've had some good feedback, actually. And some... some um, constructive criticism. Constructive criticism. Well, I can't even say it. Constructive <laughs> criticism. Uh, you know what we were talking about, don't you, Jim? Yes, Jim. Um, so um, we'll take that on board, Jim, and thank you for, for your points. So... Um, We've had a we've had a really good couple of weeks actually, haven't we? Really good. So I think yeah. from the last podcast we were talking about coming away from <coughs> FC with a win, um, good performance in the second half, and then we went on to Bradford, Bradford Park away. Um, pretty much the same start, really, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much the same as what game, but uh, the uh, the curry at Bradford Park was a uh, stunning. Tell you uh, what. Well done to them guys behind the scenes that there. Was it was really good. Lot. We've been to some great places this season, but I think we're on top of that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, was, I was really, um, I, I, I got. Was your it first got, visit, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was as a club. Yeah, but it was a. Uh, it got mentioned in the week that there was a curry, so I was absolutely buzzing with that. Um, it was really nice as well. It was. It was. It was, it was fantastic. Their, yeah, uh, their, I don't know whether it was there. Was it their chairman who came and sat with us for a bit? Um, yeah, it could have been. Yeah, yeah. Nice Sorry. guy. Really, really nice guy. Gave us a lot of history about the club, and they've been, they've been right up there at some point. Mm-hmm. Something had a really good yeah. history. Yeah, really. Good. Um, ground had a, uh, a running track around it. Yeah, but it, it wasn't one of them that you weren't allowed to stand on. No, you, no, you, you could get close to the game yeah. as well. So, uh, them, they don't like you, do they? No. no, but it was good. Really good setup. Really not lovely people. Really, yeah. really nice people. We got off to a bit of a slow start, didn't we? Yeah. Um, I think yeah, um, they, 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 they were probably deserving of their one 0 at half time, weren't they? Yeah, probably, yeah. Obviously. But yeah, fair yeah. play to um, fair play to Sam and Dino. Made changes at half time. Yeah. And uh, changed the game basically, didn't yeah. it? It was yeah. um, we came out. And we were firing all cylinders, and I thought we were, we're fully, fully deserving of the win in the end. Yeah, I thought we were, uh, we were at it second half, really at it, and uh, a lot of pressure on him. And um, yes, yeah, some good, good, good save from Pilly once again. Another pen. Oh, yeah. that and that's guy, his fourth. Is it his fourth this season? Yeah, I'm fourth, saying. Yeah, fourth, it's fifth. that song, you know. It's that song we sing. He, he's, well, mate, on, he's rubbing his hands for this uh, presentation. On the highlights, mate. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's I, got I, all the wives. I turn <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a bit worried. Uh, but I remember turning around to uh, Frank and Alan, our media guys, and saying, Are you not doing the commentary? And they went, Yeah, we are, but we're doing it from here. We've all got a lot of this can't go well. And then you yeah. can hear you start the song. Yeah. Like, oh, no. no yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a good day, really good day out. Uh, obviously, a bit of a sort of another, another game that we've come from behind, which you, you yeah. can't not. Shows a bit of character um, and a togetherness with the celebrations, with yeah, half the bench see. getting on the pitch, which I wasn't impressed about. But, <laughs> Yeah, but um, it's it's one of them. It just shows, I think, how much it means to the lads because they celebrate every win like we do, and I think that. Do you know what the feel good factor is like back, isn't it? Yeah. It's absolutely bouncing yeah. at the moment. Feels good, doesn't it? Does feel you know, good. We've got momentum on your side there. So. Well, sp- speaking of it bouncing, it was bouncing in in the lounge on Saturday after. Mate, that's uh, one of the funniest that he's ever had. In <laughs> a, <laughs> two, funny. a two nil win over Bamber Bridge, and I think it could have been more. If I'm honest with you, I, yeah. I didn't think they troubled us once really, and. I thought the lads would just bang at it right the way through the game, so we fully yeah. deserved the win. Great people from Bamber Bridge again, really nice, yeah, okay. really yeah. nice people. Um, but the lounge was, uh, let's say, it was at capacity, <laughs> maybe yeah. a bit yeah, more. Yeah, my volley went past a bit. Yeah. Maybe a bit more, but the... It was uh, good, really good. the atmosphere it creates, that was just incredible, it? and it must yeah. fill onto the pitch, that Yeah. I don't think Sammy was happy that he sang his song about 40 times. <laughs> Sammy at the wheel. Sammy at the wheel. Um, but, mate, great. You, you can't beat that. You know, the lads from uh, uh, Ashes Company. Oh, Stanley Brickwork. Stanley Brickwork, we went then. Yeah, Stanley um, Brickwork lads, yeah. Yeah, they, they obviously had a really good day with us and uh, obviously all our normal guys who were in here really, really enjoyed it. Um, lots of beer and Yeah, it was, fun. It was and, good. And, 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 the, and I think the guys from Bamber enjoyed it. Obviously not the result, but... Um, it was nice. I spoke to their manager this week. He's a good guy. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. N- nice people. Um, again, what it's all about, non-league and the level that we're at, is making friends and having yeah. good days out because we all work hard in the week to get these teams out on a Saturday. So, yeah, so enjoy yeah. It, you? You, you've got to well, enjoy it. You've you, got to make the most. Do you know what? As well, just talking about the football, when we went away to Bamba, um, I think we drew two two. We scored in the last minute, didn't we? No, they scored. Well, they scored in the last yeah. minute. Sorry. But they're a, they're a good side, and I think their league position probably doesn't yeah. reflect the side. Yeah. They'd won four on the bounce coming into the game. Oh yeah, and they won last night. They played in the uh, was it the semi-finals, so through yeah. to the final. So yeah, good, good luck to them in the final. Yeah, they beat yeah. Southport. Yeah. 
Yeah. So they're a good, they're a good side. So to, to play the way we did and get the result that we did, yeah. you know, when we're we're obviously in the position that we're in, and every game means so much more than your normal yeah. games. Um, I thought the lads did us really, really proud. Well, I think that when you go from back to Bradford Park, they're playing to stay in it. So yeah. you know, again, they're, they're the good side. Like yeah, Danny's got them playing well. They, they beat us there, didn't they? Yeah, very good side. Um, and, and and I think that's again, I've said it many many times. The standard in this league's. You know, there's nothing between clubs really. There's not not much in it. Um, you know, you, you've got the big hitters like Radcliffe are flying and absolutely deserve where to be where they are. Um, yeah. But they everyone, everyone after that, Tuesday. yeah, everyone, yeah. everyone after that, I mean, yeah, you could, it's, it's you, wide open. Yeah, it's, it's totally wide open. So that leaves us. Uh, or takes us second, clear second now because we were joint weren't we, with Hyde there. Yes. Better goal difference that takes us after them drawing on Saturday. We go to second on 62 points, and I think yeah. we're two points ahead of Hyde with a game in hand. And guess where we're going on Saturday? You couldn't roll it, could you? Any better, really? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it, it, yeah it's a big one. But, but I keep like, keep going back to it. Like we, I, I really haven't felt the pressure. No, no I, I think we're just enjoying it. And I know it's like a bit cliche and all the rest of it, but it, it is about just enjoying the football. And I think that creates more around the club if you enjoy it. You got the right people around you, um, the right people on the pitch that are just playing f- for what it's meant to be for for football. Um, I, I just think you get to that point where you're just going, well, I actually like going. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not worried about going to hide. Yeah. You no, know, it doesn't feel like it's a make or break for us. It's like, well, I'm going to go there. We'll, we'll, <coughs> we'll yeah, put we'll a good display go. on, and we'll have a go. And I'm sure they're probably thinking the same. But they'll have a go as well. well it's we, a good club and good people. That they always look after us at hide. Yeah, they do actually. Yeah, so, really well. We're not, we're not. And I won the raffle last time. Oh, yeah, but who, who paid for your ticket? Because well, you didn't you, have any cash. Well, you did, but that's not the point. <laughs> well, I, oh, did, no. I, gave, I gave it to the girls. Fair actually. play to him, yeah. Because yeah. actually, we, they, took, they, they said to us, they'd been here and they said, look, you looked after us that well. When you come to our place, they bring all your staff with you as well for the for the pre match meal and everything. So we had two yeah. tables and ten. So then Andy put my ten as what one behind the bar for everyone else, and I didn't even get a drink from it. So I was, I was made up. I'm a man of the people. <laughs> keep saying I'm that. Man. You keep saying that. I'm a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. No, I think. Um, There's your headline for this one. <laughs> oh, no, <we> <laughs> <laughs> my turn last week. Your turn yeah. this week. Oh, well, I think it's, it's it's a big game, but there's there's you know there's nothing to be fearful of. Um, it's obviously a, an AstroTurf pitch, so the surface will suit us. And if you remember last time when we had uh, Sam and Dino in charge on a, for, a, for a few weeks, um, oh, they went there and won, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, won those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah so pressure. they've got to repeat that for us. I think so. Yeah. On that note, like, there is no pressure. There's no pressure for us. The no. position we're in, we've had a fantastic season, and I think, like you say, enjoy it. Yeah. Well, me and Matt were talking to Stephen Killam, who's a yeah, yeah, nice non- non-league Love reporter, guy. so we uh, follow him on, um, on Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. He does some really good stuff around non-league. And we were talking to him yesterday, and he was asking us about, you know, how you feel the And we were like, listen, if you can't enjoy the position that we're in, you're yeah. in the wrong game. Yeah, you know, totally. It's not not about pressure. Pressure's paying the bills. Pr- pressure's making sure yeah. that we've got enough to keep the club afloat. But when you're in these situations in the league, this is what we do it for. So yeah. that's about <clears throat> enjoying it with the supporters, with the sponsors, with the volunteers, and just having good days out. Yeah. It is. And, and honestly, you've got this year. We've had some cracking days out. Really good days. days out. And I, I just think you, you can't. If soon as you stop that enjoyment of going to games and it's not you don't get that buzz when you wake up on a Saturday morning going, you know, if you're a little kid at seven or you look, you know, yeah. we're those daft older blokes. Sorry, Andy, we're daft older blokes. You're a lot younger than us. But if you can't get that buzz for the game day, yeah, don't do it. It's simple as that. It's 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 like it's not a. It's there to be enjoyed for us all, and I think that's main part of why I do it, and being around those guys and having a laugh in the week and. No sending stupid messages to each other on that. If anyone had got hold of our WhatsApp, <laughs> we'd be in serious yeah, That's encrypted. That, yeah. <laughs> It'd be like the government, uh, we lost our phones. Well, you, you laugh at stuff and then you know, you, you've know you got the love and support of all the people around us, our family and friends, and we have a great day in here with our sponsors. So you've got to take that as, like, it's massive part of it's a massive part of our lives because it, it takes over your life in a way, yeah. doesn't it? So um, you, you've got to enjoy the Saturdays, you've got to enjoy the Tuesday nights away, wherever yeah. you're going, you've got to want to go and got to want to enjoy it. Yeah. Or, all the other stuff becomes a problem, becomes a pain, and you don't want to do it then. So this season's been, you know, at the start of the season, we're probably looking at, we'd love to try and get in the playoffs. That that was the idea. But an improvement on 10th would be a fantastic season for us. Yeah. Done a lot of restructuring behind the scenes and a lot of stuff that we've gone on to. 
in the community stuff. Um, so but the club itself is in such a like twelve months on is in such a better place. Than yeah, it was. it's night and day in it from what it was. So down to you, that Andy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He's gonna he's gonna run with that. He's gonna run with that. <laughs> but you know, obviously, all people see is the results, the league table, yeah. and what goes on on Saturday. And I think. Like you've touched on there, the, the work that's gone in, and it's not just from us four, it's other people. Oh, there so many people the around well. it, yeah. yeah. It's massive, and so the yeah. progress off the field is probably so much more than what is on the field as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it I, reflects in terms of what we're achieving well, out there as so, well. Speaking of which, you've um, you've been quite busy with the some of the community stuff, haven't you, over the last couple yeah. of weeks? Well, longer than that, but a lot of it's come to fruition this last couple yeah. of weeks. And there's still so much more as well. But no, we've, um, we've had a good few weeks, obviously, we, we announced the women's team. That's they, they kick off this uh, Sunday with their yeah. open training, so we've had loads of interest in that. We thought it was going to be one team, it could I, be more. I so. think it's going to be more. Yeah. Looking at the messages that we've been but again, getting, it's through. fantastic for the town as well. Yeah. Um, we had the food bank down uh, at the Bamba Bridge game, which was yeah. amazing to see. Really and, and again, you know, just on that note, thank you so much to all the supporters, yeah, for, huge for coming and, and the juniors and everyone involved yeah. in the club for contributing. I think the food bank raised over 500 pounds worth of food in donations Brilliant. and then they had a bucket collection as well so yeah. uh, they were really really happy and it looks like we're going to continue that for home Excellent. games going forward which Excellent. is amazing. Is a bucket collection where you get loads of buckets? Yeah yeah so we're <laughs> busy, busy with buckets. <laughs> 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 walking past me buckets. <laughs> um, yeah no, that's good we've um, obviously stuck with the youth zones carrying on I was just uh, chatting to Mark before some of our juniors were down at the youth zone yesterday and they've been putting on kind of exclusive strength and conditioning sessions for the, for the team so um, again slow starter there's only a few that's gone but you know as we It'll build our relationship It'll there it's, it's massive isn't it? can I ask can I ask you a question on that on the photo that I've seen why have they all got loaves of bread I did ask the question myself <laughs> yeah, so anyway, interesting one the, the lads from Brownie's team have gone to the session and then he sent me a picture and he said, sorry about the bread, they gave them all free bread <laughs> when they finished. So. I go, why, 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 I love the kids going, yeah, getting a load of I'm bread, but, sure yeah, I love it, it always good. Yeah, so go and train and then I'll go and get a load of Yeah, and then obviously Tuesday night, um, DKMS, which is a blood cancer charity, went down to train with the first team yeah. to, um, to start the work there that we're doing with them. So at the Marine game, they're going to be um, swabbing which is basically a cheek swab to join the register for uh, become a stem cell yeah. donors, which is, again, an absolutely amazing Yeah, cause. there's some good stories behind there. Yeah. I know it's for a fantastic, like, cause, but, um, but there's, like, a lot of good things have come from it for people swabbing, and, you know, you never know, you can help someone yeah. out. You save your life, yeah, that, you, you know, you've got, you, I know that one of the, one of the guys who's, who's kind of behind it, that Jen and um, uh, Helen know, uh, quite well, he's like been. He was given like seven years to find a donor, seven and he's like coming ago. up to like he's yeah. the the end where he. Yeah, you know. no, I met with Pete the other day. Obviously, when we were agreeing to kick off, unfortunately, he can't make the game on uh, Bank Holiday Monday. But I think he's going to be sending a message out to everyone, just obviously thanking us for the Super. support. But yeah. he was given seven years to find. Uh, find a donor for, yeah. to save him. Uh, he's onboarded over a hundred thousand people, so the wow. register has still not found his donor. So wow. I think as a charity, they're like really rooting for let's let's try and do this yeah. amazing yeah. thing because what Absolutely. a guy! Yeah, yeah. <coughs> the more people that can get involved, the better it yeah. gets. Yeah, and the lads, you know, fair play to the lads. They've kind of they've all they've signed a client oh, so they've just sat in a classroom in a school on yeah, Tuesday yeah. but you know they've all got involved oh mate well, it's absolutely right I think, I think didn't, right. didn't Dino um, donate I at think, some point um, and save someone yeah I've, I've heard brother, yeah. Dean's brother right. I think was a donor uh, and actually saved someone's life wow yeah. um, so you know it's something that kind of as a community yeah um, Got to get behind that. We were kind of like, yeah, we'll support it. And yeah. then obviously when we found out Dean's connection to it, yeah. fair play to Dean, he's just kind of ran with it and sorted yeah, it. Yeah, which, you know, it's amazing. Good guy. Good guy. It's just, again, I think going back to the whole community interest of the football club, it just highlights the impact we can have. Do you know what I mean? The, yeah. the, when you see the rooks of food that were collected at the Bamba Bridge game, you know, that, that's nothing yeah. to us. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. that's genuinely going to and, be and you know what? Life. It just shows how good people are. It just shows how good yeah. the people we've got around the club and in the in the community around us. You know, get behind it, they'll support it, and yeah. and it's right. You know, people are struggling a little bit, so it's, it's great to see that people get involved. Uh, we've 
we've got a community lunch here on Monday. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm here you're, for that. You're, you're making the soup, aren't you? I'm doing the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, I love the quiz master. I love being quiz <laughs> master. Yeah, master. you know, again, that's bringing people from the local community into the club that have never been here before. So it's allowing us to Im- improve our connections into the local community. Uh, and it's priceless for absolutely. these Absolutely. So, and no, particularly, particularly when a lot of the people who've become have got the best seats in the house, <laughs> looking yeah. over out of the executive boxes at Radfield. <laughs> so, yeah. you know what I mean? Exactly. We should be so, charging them to go watch well, no, the game. It's good. And that side of things, it's really good. You yeah. know, the football stuff goes without saying. What, what Lee and the team are doing there in the community is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well. So yeah, really good. Really pleased with it. And like I say, we're only just. I saw some really nice a uh, message from a parent that Lee had took in. Uh, you know, from the Tuesday nights one yeah. he does, and it, it was really, really nice about how it like got his kids' confidence yeah. back and wanted to play again, and obviously, and, and it's not just for our club, it's for, you know if we can't fit these kids in, they're, they're there for going to other well, clubs. You see and, it reflecting in like we were there on Sunday for the junior finals, and we're there <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I those, it. again, clubs and people coming in that have never been here before. Yeah. So that that's another big thing. So um, Sunday we had the junior finals, which is the first Sunday of three lots of yeah, finals. Yeah, we're, we're again we this in. Sunday. Yeah, we're going again this Sunday. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a it's a nice day, and it's nice to be able to put it on for him because. You know, it's not Wembley here, but it's a bit different from a park pitch. You better, know what I mean? It's better it's, than Wembley. Um, it's better, better, better. You have a better day here than you do at Wembley. I've, I've, I've been to club Wembley. I've, I've, I've enjoyed yeah, it here more. I've done a few at Wembley. <laughs> um, but it's it, it's sort of giving that little bit of a look. It's a bit of a special day for you. Um, yeah. Come and enjoy it, and we'll look after you while you're here. Very well Oh yeah, I'm really good. Really, really, really good Sunday. It was re- no, and you had like Orford. I know Matty well. Um, Orford manager. You know. Unfortunately, his team got beat, uh, but it was against Vulcan, so it was close, and it? so yeah, it's yeah. close. So we all know yeah. people involved in both clubs. So, yeah, it, there were some uh, really good displays, really good standard of football. So it's a good. Like, if you need a footy fix on a Sunday, yeah, and you want to get over, get over, and, and you, you can have a blue and a bit. You know, the, the, the big thing is it highlights that the club is like a massive ecosystem of activity, and yeah. there's so much that goes on that. We need to expose and talk about. Cause yeah. that's what it's all about. And, and, and you know what? I, I, I don't think we do go. We've put it on all our socials and stuff, but um, there's not much other sort of coverage yeah. on it. So we, we have to do it ourselves and we have to get things going. Um, and yeah, a bit frustrating at times, but yeah, we, we're doing lots of good stuff. But it, you need to be careful how much you bang that drum. Yeah. Because um, you don't want to think that everyone's yeah. well, just trying to get publicity. But we're not. We're trying to do stuff and we're yeah. trying to raise awareness yeah. to stuff because we want people to get involved and because it benefits people. Yeah. Um, so if we can get your kids in playing football, great. If there's stuff that we can do in the community to help your charity or something that you want to highlight in the community we'll, we'll definitely get behind it and we'll help you yeah. um, I've, I've, I've finished my first Guinness I can't believe I knew, I knew yeah, exactly you, Matt, you need to anyone else, anyone else? Anyone else? Um, so while, while Mark's going the bar uh, literally um, just need to give uh, Eddie Eddie a shout out Eddie Greenwood oh yeah yeah he was uh, apparently he was he was um, he was tuning in. He was listening Wait, to the podcast. Hot tub, Eddie. Hot tub, Eddie. He was. He was had his budgie smugglers on <laughs> in the in the hot tub at, at Delamere. <laughs> he was uh, loading it up in, in his bug, budgie smugglers in the uh, hot tub at Delamere, listening to the podcast. Amazing. So, Eddie, you're a legend. Thanks for tuning in, mate. What a guy. Yeah, he oh. is. He is. And then, um, in fact, I think we need to mention a certain vehicle that was driven. Into a certain <laughs> post. <laughs> um, yeah, has anyone seen the Kitman's van recently? That's, yeah. Uh... That's a topic that's so yeah, so just so you all know what's happened, basically, Sean, our kit man, the only kit man in the league who's got about fifteen assistants, <laughs> um, decided to take the top off the van driving into Bamber Bridge, um, mm. and it was uh, it was your van, wasn't it, Andy? It was. It's now a convertible. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a, we've got a convertible mate, Mercedes I mean, Sprinter the, the kit thing van. About that was kind of obviously we arrived a little bit later and we're with Dave and. He pulls into this car park and Dave's going, how stupid is that? They're supposed to have a sign on there, it's illegal. <laughs> He's like, I can't believe there's no max height sign on that. It transpires that the sign fell off as Sean Swatter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, sh- the, the sign's now stuck to Oh, cheers, cheers. Yeah, no problem. Chairman, thank Any, you. Andy, do you want to go on? I'm just waiting for you to get back. <laughs> well, you know, no, so, uh, so yeah, so Sean, uh, if you are listening, um, you're now kit man uh, with no wages for about the next 15 years while you pay off the repairs on the van, uh, which I think is only fair. 
Yeah, yeah. Blessing. Listen, it happens, obviously, it's in, in our game as well. We, that's not what you said earlier, that. Yeah, that's not what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> you said he's never driving that again. <laughs> Great advert. The yeah. car looks like a beluga whale. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was, uh, but it was, it was a good day out, Bamber, actually. Really, really, good, really, day. really good day out. And uh, other than the van, coming up, coming back with the result and uh, the way we played, it, it, sorry, Bradford, coming back uh, yeah. the way we played, it was, Cheers, it was good. It was good. Pleasure. Um, so, we've got, a, we've got a big day coming up as well on the 13th of April. So, we play Lancaster at home. So, hopefully, we'll be edging closer to cementing that playoff yeah, we've place. We've got three home games left now. Three home yeah, games three, left. Yeah, so, we've yeah. got Marine. Marine. Marine Bank Holiday. Bank Holiday. Lancaster. Lancaster. Yeah. And then Ilkston. Ilkston. Last, last one. Did you say Ilkston? Il- Ilkston, Ilkston. I think it's Ilkston, Ilkston you know. Yeah, um, anyway, on the 13th, we've got the end of season awards for the first team. Yes. yes. We're going to the uh, Grand in town with... Um, all the team, um, some partners, some not, um, <laughs> board, volunteers, <laughs> staff. <laughs> so we're really looking forward to that. That's going to be a, a good night. To, regardless of what happens over yeah. these next few weeks, um, we're going to be able to give the lads a good pat on the back for, what an amazing, for an season. amazing season. Crazy. Um, we've yeah, got really sponsors good. player of the year, we've got players player of the year, and we've got fans player of the year. So... We've got the sponsors and players that's already in and voted for, and the fans play of the year will be going out on Facebook. Yeah, so the guys are going to start pulling in um, nominations for that. So obviously it's going out on Facebook, but obviously to anyone listening, if you want to throw your nomination in the heart, drop us a message. Um, and we'll be we'll add <laughs> to the list. Um, yeah, and also over Easter, just while we're getting stuff out there, that we, what we've got going on, we've got the holiday activity camp. Uh, oh, yes. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's again, done it now, uh, did it over the summer. Last year went really, really well. Class. We were all chefing, weren't we? We were, we're all chefing. 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 Well, we're uh, dra- drafting Noxie back in. He doesn't know it yet, but uh, <laughs> he's getting I'm back sure in. I'm sure he'll be tough with that. He's there without his menus. What are we going to do? I know, yeah. Oh, so, his recipe, him, him yeah. and Liz on the, uh, on the pizza making, I think. Class. <laughs> um, but, well, that, again, though, sorry to put in then, but that just shows, like, where we are. You know, we've got loads of kids coming here on the half. Sorry, Guinness took a big gulp. Um, but you know, you have got people that are attached to the club in whatever. But they, they give up the time. Like on, on Sunday, it was on about the footy. Then sorry, I'm not I'm going to go away away from half. Um, but like our driver Dave and Big Bob, yeah. our, our stewards, like, they were here all day Sunday. Yeah, they cleaned all the ground. They got involved with all the supporters. They had a top laugh, and you, you cannot yeah. buy that. No, generally you They've cannot buy it. The class people, mate. Honestly, oh, I, yeah. I get dead. Like, yeah, you get sort of dead. Like, you know, stood there having emotional. a emotional. Yeah, and that's that's come not on, me. Come on, but yeah, don't don't touch the air, mate. There's a camera. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, we can't touch the princess's hair. Can I just on that note as well, though? Just talking about hair. Um, All right, why are we talking about air and we'll take a piss? We're an absentee today and I think we just need to, uh, obviously there's a, there's a memory. Oh yeah, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Tim now, I think it's because he had a hair appointment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tony's so. had his hair cut. Tony's had well, his hair cut. To be fair, uh, I did actually forget to text him that we were doing the podcast today, <laughs> not tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I do apologise. So. Well, Tony, do Tony we miss you, Tony. I'm going to invest in some cardboard cutouts on the board. So like well, Saturday, I can't make it Saturday, I want you to take me there as a cardboard cutout. Absolutely. Yeah, we might. I don't like what we do to you on the way back. But, uh, <laughs> you'll be all right. Uh, but no, I think, yeah, obviously. Hi, Tony. But, um, um, okay. So, yeah, just touching back on the half very quickly. Um, it is running from the 2nd of April to the 5th of April. Four days, you've got um, the council funded stuff. So, if you've got kids who are benefiting from free school meals in any way, shape, or form for whatever reason, they can come on it completely free from 10 till 2. They'll do football, they'll do multi sports, they'll get involved in pizza making. Oh, yeah. archery day. Archery day. I love that last time. Um, that and close. then if you uh, if you want to pay for it as well, it's uh, £20, but that's a full day from half eight until five o'clock. So if you're busy at work, you can drop the kids with us. We yeah. will look after them, keep them entertained, and hopefully tire them out for you when you yeah, pick them back up. They'll again. get home, get a bath so, and go back. Uh, again, go just go onto the Facebook page if you yeah. want to get involved with that and you can register. Brilliant. Cool. Um, so, um, do we want to touch on our questions for the board? Yeah. Are we, oh, this is okay. my favourite part, this, you know. Oh, no cool. one's really controversial enough, though. Um, don't, don't, we, so don't I, be tempting it. 
I like seeing people like squirm when you're asking questions. But no, we've got some, which is good. Um, Nick wants an apprentice to help him on the gate. Just on that note, actually, I did the gate for um, at the weekend, and I was after. That's you. why there was loads of people on the pitch at the end. <laughs> yeah. Of the game. Well, to be fair, I thought I did a sterling job at the start of the game. Everyone got that, him for free. Yeah, everyone told me that I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> stay, stay in your lane, Andy. I think oh, is yeah. the message. Stay in your lane. Um, what's Tony's haircut this week? We don't know. That's where he currently is. So we'll let you know that one. Pimp. I think he's Blue going Oh, oh. oh. He, he, can't, he can't defend himself. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, don't miss one of these. Yeah, he, don't, he, don't be missing one of these. He's giving it loads because he's not going to see it on Saturday, Tony. That's what it is. I think it's he's on Sunday. I think, he, I think oh. he's going for it. He won't be here Sunday. He's going for an 80s perm, I think. He's not got um, the hair to pull a perm got? off. No, he's not. Let's have a look. Is there anything that's. I'm just I'm, I'm filtering through. I've had a couple through. But... So, um... I know there was there was one that wasn't um, I saw one earlier on which wasn't club related actually um, in, in in general but it was a, a really interesting topic that I think we should talk about. It was asking about what we think about the um, violence that we've seen of late in non-league football. Resurgence of um, going back to the get your badge in yeah. and. I want to be like gangsters from the 80s and stuff. You know what? I remember when football was bad in the yeah, dark yeah, days yeah, yeah, when yeah. it was like yeah. hooligans and it was proper, proper, proper Green bad. Shit. Like, yeah, well, you know, you can't have. You couldn't take a family to a Premier think League it, game. It's it wasn't Premier League. non league football, though, because like security, policing, stewarding yeah, but, is nowhere near but, as much as it is in professional but, but yeah, but on, the, on, the, on, the, like but on the stupid side of this, though, is what these guys don't realise is that, yes, you go to a game, listen, no one cares about you singing, no one cares about you having a drum, no one cares about you shouting a bit of, at the away supporters, what, no, what, either either. No one cares about that, that's what non-league's about for me. But when then you start thinking that after that you can start punching each other, you can start making, like, little kids are at the ground, there's families at the ground, there's families at our ground, you know, and we just wouldn't tolerate it. No. But I, I just think there's been this massive surge of people that think they'll put the Stone Island top on, they walk into a ground with, and I get young kids doing it. I get like, you know, 15 to 18, whatever that age. I get them thinking that they're going to go and they're all 10 men and all that. And I can get, but then you've got blokes that you see on videos that are grown men, 40, 50 year old men that are in front of these kids. And the kids aren't getting involved in it. It's the grown men that are doing the actual actions. And you're thinking, what is wrong with you? Why would you think that you want to go to a ground of non league? And then do stuff like that in a non-league yeah. ground because I just think if, I find it poor. I think young kids mob mentality; they get drawn into it and they do yeah. the stuff that they do. But then, but the repercussions of that are: you've got stewards that most nine times out of ten are volunteers. Yeah. You're putting them in arms way, so then you've got to go right. I need to, you need to pay for security, and then so it's a cost to the club. Yeah. And then after that, you've got to get more police, which is another cost to the club. So directly, you're impacting your club. So you might love them. You might talk the talk and say how much of a non-league fan you are and what a great person you are and I love this club and all that lot. You're actually damaging your own club, so you look an absolute tit on the day doing it yeah. where you're punching people in a crowd or you're filling in stewards or whatever you're doing. You look an absolute weapon. If anyone's got a brain cell amongst you, like you look at it you, and you, you're killing non-league football yeah. by directly doing it. You do you aren't. Think it's always um, happened, but it's just getting exposed more no, because of social well, media. Or th do you think there's a rise? I, I think there's definitely a rise there. I mean, you look at there is a rise. When we were definitely. at FC the other week, they would had the work team game and there'd been a load of trouble. Yes. People have probably seen it on Twitter, so I'm not telling anyone anything they don't know or they've not seen. But we were talking to the guys who were stewarding or like looking after the lounge and the bar volunteers. on that day, volunteers and like. There's a really nice guy at FC called Peter. Yeah, lovely guy. Yeah. Really, really lovely nice guy. guy. And he said it was the worst thing he's seen in football. He said it was just, it was complete carnage. And, you know, I, I don't know who started or what went on, but there was 22 arrests after the game. <laughs> which, ridiculous. you know, there was people getting glassed. I mean, like, we, we all of us go the game and we take our kids. Do you yeah. know, you, know you don't want that going no. on. You don't want it going on anyway. Listen, but, I just look at it as if you go into a pub, and that pub had a reputation, and it was like, I'm not taking my kids in there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what will kill non-league. So you don't want to, you don't want to kill younger people coming to it. You do because that's the worst thing that can happen to football is that young lads don't go and young girls don't go anymore because it's a bit naughty or they get ground bans and all of this, and it's that knock-on effect of it. So 
And I generally believe that something's got to be done in non-league to stop it happening. And what, what does me head in, and I get it, the, the leagues and the FA and stuff have got to act and put fan, you know, bands in and all that, and I get that. But there's got to be something more that can help clubs. There's got to be something more that can be put in. You know, level above where there's segregation, there's all the rest of it, but it still doesn't stop, it's still not stopping it happening. So there's got to be something more that can be done without a cost to the club, because that's my biggest problem with it, is that... Like you say, at the end of the day... Is it society's changed? That everyone just wants to go out? Everyone just wants to go out on a Saturday and, you know... Yeah. Mate, them days are gone. Them days in football are over. We've, we've lived through all that in the, like, 70s, 80s and early 90s. And, it, and we got rid of it because we didn't want it. Yeah. So don't let it start coming back into non-league football now, yeah. because it'll kill non-league football. Because yeah. as soon as you start getting rid of the real fans... Yeah. And a class, I'm not saying that they're not real fans, but if you want to go to have a little fight because you've got your Stone Island top on on Saturday, you're a whopper. You're an absolute penis and you're going to kill this football. <laughs> no, so agree. what you need to do is go and have a fight on the park with your mates and then go and watch a game of football and stop being a fool because yeah. you are going to kill non-league football. The, the, the issue is... I mean, well said, Chairman. I'm yeah, just I'm well a bit said. passionate about it because my daughters go to games yeah. and I'm not saying they come here, they go to other games and I don't want them to get stuck in something like that. No. Yeah. And I've got friends and family that go to lots of other games yeah. in non-league and I don't want to see it. No. I don't want to see it at Goodison if I go there. I don't see it at Old Trafford if it's I go silly, there. You know, if they want to go and play big men, go and play big men, but get it away well, from our football. Yeah, yeah. yeah do it properly. Just don't stand there. We just, and, it, and it is that, like this image that they all put it on, like, you know, on the other side of it, which I don't get. It's like you're naming and shaming people. I, no, not deliberately, but you're putting videos out of what's happening. And then people are all over it, so they, they instantly should get a ban. Yeah. yeah. They instantly well, should be banned the, from the, football. The, 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 knows who them people are. The knock, exactly. on, the knock on effect to that is when you might have people who are thinking, oh, do you know what? I, I might go down and support my local team. I might just go and take the kids and, yeah. you know, Premier League's too much. And we're trying to attract people who, and, and rightly so, can't afford to go to the Premier League games or, or wherever. It's an expensive day out. It's an expensive day out. So you can get them to come to grounds like ours and all the other clubs in the NPL and divisions around us. You can spend ten pounds to get in on the gate. Your kids are either getting in for nothing or a few quid. You can have a pie and a pint. You can have a day out probably with your kids and spend like twenty, twenty-five quid. Whereas if you start seeing that on social media and you live around the corner to a ground that that's going on, you're thinking, "No, nah, I'm probably not going to. I'm not. I'm not going to so bother with that." So that's a double-edged sword because it's costing the club to increase security. Yeah. And you're also you're putting you're people off. money by yeah. by you're people coming through yeah. the gate. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I, so. I think people. Lock, and I think what annoys me is people turn a blind eye to it. Yeah. Like, oh, it's, it's an on-league. I said, well, no, it's not acceptable. Yeah. And if clubs are going to accept it in their grounds, more fool them. Yeah. Because eventually we'll bite you on the arse because if something happens in here... Mate, we've had problems at this ground. We've had stuff that's happened. Yeah, happens, but you deal it? with it and you go in, you go, you're not welcome here. Yeah. You are not part of this club. I don't want you attached to my club because that's not what... You no, know, if we go away... I've had instances away where fans have had a pop at us and said stuff like, not this year, but in the past... And I've just gone, why would I want a club like that? Yeah. Why would I want my supporters to behave like yeah, yeah. that? Because the, the they're like a cancer, of the, like they're a cancer of football, and they were a cancer of football years ago, and we got rid of it. So it now can't be part of football again because nobody wants to see it. Because football's moved on, people have moved on, yeah. and you look an absolute freaking idiot, honestly. No. I can't tell you when I see the videos of things happening, and they're all stored with the Stone Islands on, get me badging, get me badging, look at me, look at me. It's like, mate. It's not fucking you know football. It it's like not the football weekend. factory. Yeah, it's yeah. not the football factory. No. You know, like, you know, if you want to go to a big, big thing and you want to meet up with a firm and think you're ten men, yeah. go and fucking do it. But don't do it around us. So I think we're basically saying, yeah, I think there is a rise of it, and um, wholeheartedly, it needs to stop. Yeah, it, it just needs to stop. And and if if the normal man in the street who comes and watches teams like ours. Um, starts not coming because of that stuff going football on. Football dies. Then, then football dies because it's the the, the fans it's are the, the life. Yeah. The fans yeah. are the life. It's, it's always the same, isn't it? Our clubs. It's always the minority yeah. that are just idiots. And then, anyway, let's move anyway, on. Anyway, well, that was a bit serious, wasn't well, it? I, I, yeah. well, I, I think it's. I think it's a serious issue. It is. I, I generally think it's a serious it is. issue. I think it's, it's a and it, it's, I'm not aiming it at clubs, and I'm not aiming it at any individuals. I'm just saying that unless we all stand together and go, we're not accepting it. Then yeah. you can't go forward. So Simple on next enough. week's episode of Question Time, we'll be uh, speaking to the chief of police. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, right, let's have a more light-hearted one, please, and. Okay, so um, we, we shout out from Vegas. I'm going to take this as a shout out from Vegas. Um, Who stole your muff? Uh, Mark's got no muff. I'm muffless. 
Where's Who has stolen the muff? Where's your muff? No idea. Frank, have you got his muff? Maybe. <laughs> Stand up, Frank. Stand up, Stand up Frank. Frank. I thought you were being quiet in the corner there, Frank. <laughs> um, so, um, lots of good feedback for the podcast, which is fantastic. It's great to hear. Um, where do you see the club in five and ten years from now? That's, Ooh, a, that's interesting, a big kind mate. of leap. So, let's start five years. Where Premier League champions, club? ten years European <laughs> champions. Ten years, we could probably <laughs> get to a decent level. Um, Mark, go on, kick us off. Five years, what for five years? Five years, well, it, it, this is a bit of a weird one, because sort of five years ago here, if you'd asked me then, I'd have said, oh, North West Counties. So we're just going to carry on, yeah? <sighs> Similar trajectory. <laughs> I, I, I generally think it gets tougher, doesn't it, now? Yeah. It, it does get tougher. Um, the financial impacts of it all and all the rest of it. So, um, mate, five years? I, honestly, I wouldn't even like to guess at where we've been five years. The club's massively ambitious, it'll never change. Um, but yeah, five years, I, I, I can see us maybe on the brinks of going Football League, hopefully. It's an With a good win. You never know, do you? You never know. I but think, I'd, I'd like to say we, we'll be pushing and we'll still keep going. But I also think, again, is that pushing it and rushing it? And I, and I don't want to do that either. So I'm, I'm quite content with where we are, maybe. If we went up, happy. If we went up again after that, I think it's some serious... Yeah, Cole needs to come it's, in. And yeah, he's, it's, he's, I think ten years. If that's that's almost impossible to answer. Without, ten years. Without, tired with, in ten yeah, years. Without like, ten answer. years, you'll just let me know. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'll be in my yeah. little villa in uh, Italy, <laughs> so I don't what, care. Just live streaming it. Live yeah, streaming yeah, it absolutely. Yeah. No, I think ten years is really too difficult to answer. But I think five years is where you know we've got you know the plans that we've got for you know various things in terms of the ground and the yeah. club and what we want to do. Obviously, all of those things would need to fall into place um, in terms of where we'd be in the in the leagues and stuff like that. I, again, it's really, really difficult to say because football's football and you can't count on anything. You can have all the money in the world and you still couldn't get promoted. I mean, yeah. look at the likes of South Shields, how long it took them to get out of this league. Yeah, and there's, they, a, they, there's a lot, lot of clubs like that as well. So there's a lot of things. I would like to think that we are in a place where we've got great facilities that we're still operating at a good level, whether that be this league or, or national league level. But growing the supporter base, doing more stuff in the community and having a really solid, stable club that's delivering over and above on what we do now because we're punching above our weight, I think, on the field and we probably punch above our weight off the field. Yeah. But I think if we got the facilities around us, we could really, really make a, a, a splash, if you like. And, yeah. and, and just to take the glass ceiling of football in the town, because basically because of the facilities and, 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 and our neighbours over at Cantilever Park suffer the same thing, we're always going to be stunted. So until we get that move forward, um, it's always going to be difficult to predict. But I yeah. think we've got all the ingredients in place in terms of the team, the, the, the fans, the sponsors, the board, everything... And all the stuff we do in the community, if we get the facilities right. I think we could. Who yeah, knows where we could be? That's the next step. In it. That's the next step. I think. I think it changes as soon as the facilities hit and we get do where you know we what? need it's to. A, it's a great question, and I think just to add to what you have said, which is difficult anyway. But it, you know, as a board, there's the ambition, and that's us from from a fan's perspective. Rest assured that we've got the ambition to take the club where you want to see it, yeah, yeah. and we want to see it there as well. Yeah, but the, the last thing you want as a fan is to have the glory of a year, two years, at a level, yeah. and then to come plummeting back down, which, yeah. that, which happens to clubs. Yeah. And you see it quite a lot and you know, on the journey that we've been on. We've gone with clubs in the same league that have gone, oh, yeah, we used to be National League or we used to be this league, and you're going, oh, right. And yeah, then there's a lot on the way They down fell down back, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, you know, well, yeah. We went to um, Oldham, yeah. and they've done it. Would they were all the way up there. And they, they, you know, were they Premier League? Yeah, they, they were they're the only, they're, 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 yeah. they're, the, they're the only Premier League club to now be playing non-league football. So, um, so you, you look what at the... Club, what what, so why not make it so it's sustainable? And that's the key, that's and, the word. And it's, it's got the backing, it's got the people behind it, and there's a plan in place. Yeah. So, you know, everyone's going, oh, Rans aren't going to get promoted this year. And? Yeah. So what do you want to do? Put, put, break the plan and go, yeah, yeah. well, we'll put ourselves under pressure to go and get this. Why? If we get promoted, we'll deal with it. If we don't get promoted, and? Yeah. I think the thing is, you know, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, like... there's clubs at this level that have been at this level for tens of years, and exactly. that's absolutely fine. And I think, you know, if in ten years' time we're at this level, but is that not, for ten years, but is that not sensible? Yeah. Is that not sensible of the people in the in the in the yeah. teams and the clubs going? Yeah. Well, if we well, go that way, so it might it might cost us. Yeah. 
Stay where you are. Look how many clubs have gone this year. I was just going to say that. Look how many clubs have folded Big because clubs. they might have pushed it too far yeah. and took a gamble and but, it's backfired. And the, 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 the biggest thing with that is, in, and what we're building here is, it's not just about one team on a Saturday yeah. that goes. When you look at the, the juniors, when you look, at, never the women, one team. You look at the disability yeah. football, you look at the community we're creating, this football club is massive. So yeah. for us, as a board, sustainability is the case. In yeah. five years' time, we're at this level and we're sustainable. Yeah. We are impacting hundreds and hundreds of people, hopefully more yeah. than that, mm-hmm. within the local community. Then, do you know what? Yeah. Well, that's, look, that's look what at Rad- I don't know how long Radcliffe have been in this league for. But well, they've got the shit together, yeah. and they've gone for it this year. Fair yeah. play to them. Yeah. So, and that's something that you look at and you go, "That's the right thing to do." That's the but model. Doing it at the right time when, when it's the, right for when, them. When they've obviously got the right finance in place, yeah. they've got a decent stadium there. They, they're getting, you know, a thousand, twelve hundred fans in week in, week yeah. out. So it's all about building. You could go, "Oh yeah, let's throw all sorts of money at it, put ourselves under massive pressure, have a season of absolute glory, and then go right. What do we do now? Because the money's run out. Yeah. Uh, the stadium's not right, etc., etc." Et so I think. It's just Let's just keep doing what we're doing and it will happen naturally. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely agree. No, brilliant. Good question. Thank you for that. Um, so here's one for you. Podcast, great communication tool, providing a link between the board and the fans. The question, whose idea was it? Mine. <laughs> I think it was mine. <laughs> absolute line pair I guess. Right. My so, idea. Well, I'll My idea. I'll tell you how it happened. Right. I'll tell you how it happened. This you lie, truth. honestly, you this lie is, at any point uh, in this, 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 this is the truth. This is the truth, right. So You are in striking no, this. No, this is how it happened. So obviously, we had our little dabbler doing a bit of filming, didn't we? We did we did behind the badge did filming. Oh, you know, right, okay. yeah. And we, it sort of it sort of Are you stealing this seriously? No, no, are you no, putting no, this in a big no, wind no, up here no, to no, steal no, this? No, no, no. It's my idea. Don't you say another word. my idea. So so the the filming was was very difficult to, to keep keep doing because it's it's it takes a lot of time and effort. And, and although it takes although, so long in hand. And well, makeup. yeah, he's got. But, it, God. but <laughs> it was it was it was good when it went out and and we got a lot of good engagement. And then Mark was chatting to me, and he said. What do you think? No, I'm joking. It was Mark's <laughs> idea. It was, it Honestly, was, it was lining up then. It was, it, and and it, it, it's been a really good idea because as you, your, um, your question said or your comment said there, um, it, has, it is a good communication tool because, you know, we see everyone on a Saturday and whatever else, but generally we're having a, a good time. We're, we're talking about whatever we're talking about and it's not you want to sit here with a room full of sponsors and fans and, stuff like that and start talking about things that we're really talking about now. Yeah. But it's also, I think, quite interesting, some of the topics that we're covering, and it also gives an opportunity to answer questions. So, yeah, I think it was a good idea, even if it was Mark's. So someone's <laughs> put here to that answer you then, <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 One of the fans has said, to answer your question, that will be Mark. He has all the good ideas. I was, oh. little, I was a little dis- disappointed that the chairman's range of merch was being discussed. Right, that's big, that's, that's big Steve. No, my goal, that's my big, goal. That's my goal, he's got my goal. To grind. So when we was in Whitby, me and Big Steve were talking and we started talking about, um, I had a different top on from model area, he wears everything from Ireland and he's not got anything I've not got anything from Ireland on today, um, except for me on this. <laughs> I'm shocked. And he said, where have you got that from? I said, oh, it's the new chairman's range. Obviously someone's ears tweaked, so I went, what? I said, oh yeah, we're launching a chairman's range. Chairman's range lands, he's now discontinued the chairman's range. <laughs> Hey, listen, it was my idea then, it was not. He just named it, the Chairman's Range. So you and Big Steve can go and share a bottle of Lambrini or whatever it was Whoa. you were drinking on the night, and uh, you can do one, the pair no, of you. We're going to have our own range, Big Steve. Oh, but uh, on the point of that, uh, Big Steve bought us a lovely bottle of whiskey. Oh, yes, have you had some of it? And, uh, I'm and, drunk, and Steve Greenwood and some Eddie. Of it is oh, gone. yeah. Other, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> other, yours went for a moment of time on Saturday. Yeah, I lost but, it. I lost my bottle. Like it. But yeah, so uh, uh, SAS, you know who you are. Yeah, Thank you very much guys. for that. Much Thank appreciated. You. Thank you. No, brilliant. Um, Go on, give us another one. Let me have a look, sorry. Um, okay. You'd, you'd think you'd be prepared, wouldn't you? What yeah, is the weirdest thing? The jo- so many messages and some of them are. Such a bo- hey, you're such a popular guy. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I was this week? Um, <laughs> <laughs> we know. It's yeah, a we great know. listen. What is the weirdest thing you've witnessed at football? <laughs> I think we're, we're going to have to like express oh, yeah, this one, you, aren't we? No can, names, don't can, mention no, names. No, can, can I go first? Can I go first? Cool. So, it's the weirdest thing that I've seen, and it was quite 
early on in my involvement with the club, um, we were playing City of Liverpool uh, here at Gorsey Lane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I remember this. There was, a, there, was a, there was a rather tall, standout kind of uh, supporter of theirs who had been walking around with a, a tiny megaphone for most of the game, <laughs> shouting things and all that. We sort of ignored him and let him get on with his thing. And then the next thing, someone comes running over to us and says, you know that big Scouse guy with the megaphone? He said, yeah, he's walking around with his cock out. <laughs> oh, bad, <laughs> so, mate. It's bad, isn't it? So, so, oh, Neil, oh, so oh, next bad. thing, we've got this this guy coming round with his megaphone, walking round with his, his, his tallywhacker hanging out. <laughs> and obviously, uh-huh. we've got kids in the ground and not that it's acceptable for whoever's in the ground but so needless to say he got ejected from the ground rather oh, quickly and I think, uh, I think Mr Knox helped him on his way yes yeah, that was a bad day um, that, that was a bad that, day and I was thinking what am I getting myself into here <laughs> mate uh, it was like you could hear him on the megaphone and yeah. he, like, he, he sort of came across the pitch didn't it yeah we're like I, th- I think it was Rick Smith came running over and he went do you know what he's doing over there I was like, he, like, he's got his old, old man out over there I was like what and then yeah. by the time he got round, he was like, well, he's got to go, he's yeah, got to he go got, out. Got oh, yeah. I mean, initially, he was shouting on this megaphone. It was a bit of banter at first, yeah, and then obviously funny. took, a, took yeah. a bit of a dark turn. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, that, I, I mean, I've got to say, I don't really think I've seen anything weirder than that. Um, oh, my go. Yeah. Right, I won't name any names in this, um, but um, our little visit to Wembley, we stayed over in um, a really, really posh hotel. It's where, like, a lot of the... Arsenal's on that stay before games and the England squad stay. Um, we're very, like, too posh for us, we shouldn't have been there. Um, and so the morning after winning, we, um, we had to come out and I was the most sober, so I, I literally had a walk for it. I had a walk for it. I didn't drink, I didn't drink, I was knackered. I went to bed early, I had my kids and my missus with me and everything, so I was like in bed. So I was up in the morning and I got given a list off the uh, hotel of all the rooms that I had to go in, basically knock our lads up, get out, right, we're going back now, get on the coach. So as I get to one of the rooms, <laughs> there's two of our lads in the hallway, obviously had a good night, and they go in, mate, you've got to see this. So I'm thinking, <laughs> do I really want to see this? <laughs> and the two, like, one of them's a massive character, one of them was the coaching staff. Um, so I went, right, go on then. So we opened this room, and honestly, if there was a hell, <laughs> It was in that was hotel in that room. room. So obviously they had a bit of a um, stomach issue. Oh no! Oh, no. And it was literally up the walls, oh, over the no. wall, over the floor, wow. like, everywhere you can think of. It was everywhere. And then a lad lying in the middle of it, <laughs> saying to me, "Help me, help me, please!" And I'd gone. I was like, "No, no, I can't, I can't oh, do it." No. So I'm, I'm going out for breakfast. And so I'm thinking, I can't, I can't deal with this. This is not, not something I want to deal with. So I'm sort of going, oh, "We need, we need to sort this out. Like, we can't leave it like this. It's really bad." Um, and then this is how bad it is, right? Noxy deals with lots of probably not nice stuff. <laughs> I went, so he's walking. She thought who better to do so, this? Noxie, Noxie come and help us with this. So I'm phoning like the manager, phoning everyone, going, I, I can't deal with this, you need to come and help me here because I've got to get everyone out of the rooms and everyone's got... So anyway, I get her. Noxie comes in, Noxie walks out and goes, ah, I can't deal with that. <laughs> this is a guy who deals with like lots of See, other bad stuff. you've got a guy who's been in war zones and a guy who kept, deals with... Oh, with, mate, with, honestly, with bodies it was horrendous. It was like the worst thing I've ever seen. And then... I just went, I've got to get everyone else out of the rooms, like, so you're going to have to look after it. So, fair play to so the lads who'd got up and knocks in everyone. They were in there with towels and oh, everything, no. and it was, like, literally everywhere. You couldn't even explain how bad it was. Was it he was, it, Ill, like? or just Self-inflicted. <laughs> so, so, anyway, we've got two coaches waiting outside the hotel, ready to pick us all up. And I'm like, you've got to get him on the coach. You've literally... Got, Get got to get him out, get him out of the hotel, get him on the coach, get him home. We've got to get him home. And I remember just like, so we, we got everyone on the coach, and they had to carry him out of the hotel to the coach. Basically, lay him on the floor. He didn't even get to a seat. They just lay him on the floor, <laughs> and everyone's like, "It's this." So we were on the other coach. So I was on the nice, nice smelling coach. Bear in mind what he'd done. <laughs> so we're still all over him. No. He's still everywhere. He's not had a shower or anything. He's just in that. that. Don't, oh, don't, don't, don't listen to this while you're having your tea, by the way. So it gets you on the coach, guys. So anyway, we stopped off because we had the trophy on our coach, and was coming back to the club and what the players to get off the coach with it. So 
I grab the trophy and the base thing and run across to give it him at services like a couple of miles down the road. So I went and the doors opened. <laughs> oh no! I know word will I mate. It, if if death had a smell, that was it. It, it was absolutely minging. All lads are still going. What you have to do to get in I that state? That well. But the weird thing is, I went to bed at like half eleven, twelve, and I'd had a couple of couple of beers through the day. And then my daughters, both daughters with me and Rach and that, and they'd all gone, we'd all gone to bed. I actually left my daughter downstairs, I forgot about her. <laughs> so my other daughter went upstairs with Rach. And I wasn't even drunk, it wasn't even an excuse, yeah, exactly. So, and then I come back down to grab her. And at that time, I remember saying night to people and going, oh, see you later. And it was fine. So thinking, so from that sort of half 11, 12 o'clock. What's gone on? What were they drinking? I don't What's know, gone on? but he was, ah. Uh, but then. What, what was, going off on a slight tangent, what was the aftermath of that like? So tell um, us a little bit about that. The what? The aftermath? The whole day. So you've kind of, obviously it's an achievement getting there for yourself, but like, you know, you go there, were you on the dogs? I know, I think we were pretty much level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think we were pretty, both done well Obviously to get there. Nerves at an yeah, time, mate, I'll be honest, mate, Wembley, it, it did my tits in, if I'm honest. Is like, it just. It, no, it's like, so when we arrived on the Friday, I didn't realise we were going into the Wembley stuff, but we'll, we'll go on why we're here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so on the Friday, you, you're sort of going down and you're buzzing, you're dead excited, but I ended up spending the night pretty much at Wembley, so I had my family. And it's under COVID times as well, so I had yeah. my family back at the hotel. So you couldn't go and do all the stuff that you do at a hotel, which is really nice. And then all the players were there. And the players were having a meeting before, um, you know, to like, do the kits, because we had all the kits embroidered, and it was, like, it was make, making it a special night. But so the night before, there was Dave, Dave Macker was on, trying to iron um, the FA Trophy, uh, FA Vars stuff onto the sleeve, because it had to be on the sleeve, because it's all televised. So I'm like, right, and he phones me up and he goes, I can't get him to stick. And I'm like, oh no, nightmare. So, so anyway, then, yeah. yeah, so no, so we, we get there. <laughs> and then the, the, the glamour of owning the football club. <laughs> Does know that you did this? Or? No, no, I didn't end up buying it. So Dave had the, the sticker things to go on. And he said, they won't stick on, they won't happen. Because like, he'd got all the, we got all the kits done by Puma. And all, in, you know, all like mm. embroidered and all that. So it's like, oh, right, so. So when he gets to Wembley, Goes and says, really nice hotel, it's all dead sound. The players are having a meeting at like, whatever, seven o'clock or whatever, and having somewhere to eat and a bit of a get together. And it's like, spoke to Wembley, and Wembley going, no, no, you have to have these badges on it because they sponsor us and all the rest. And you're like, all right, okay. If you come down to Wembley now, we've got our in, in stadium sort of, in bro like, he'll put it on for you. I'm like, right, who's doing that then? Guess who's in a taxi <laughs> going all the way from the bloody hotel Tony's to Wembley? Dialing Ida. Yeah. So I was like, right, okay. So me and Tony jumped in a, a taxi light, talking to the taxi guy, having a bit of a laugh and a banter. Gets to Wembley. The beautiful part of it is, though, that I was annoyed that I was like, my family are at the hotel, I'm not getting to spend any time with him. Me and Tony, and Tony's family were there as well. So we were like, sort of, a bit annoyed about it that we had to go. Gets into Wembley, mate, got the full, like, anywhere tour. I could literally, when any, I was in Southgate's right. office. I was in all the changing rooms, walking around. Did you any resigning? No, I didn't have any left for me. I don't know why I was there. So I forgot the family were there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally just gone. And like walking around the pitch, walking around, meeting all the ground staff, meeting all the staff involved in it all. Amazing. And just basically went, go wherever you want, just have a wander. So I got a really, really good yeah. sort of behind the scenes at Wembley. So it, it, it sort of had its pros and its cons, but it was good and I really enjoyed it. So anyway, it gets all the kits back. Some poor woman had like... It was definitely a woman, it wasn't being sexist, it was definitely a woman. Um, who did it? Who, who, got all, who got all the badges on and everything, gives all the kit back. So, <laughs> so basically got back to the hotel, all the lads are all still buzzing and that, and it's like, every two seconds I'm getting the phone, how far away, how far away? I was like, mate, I'm in a taxi, I can't go any faster than what the taxi's going, I'm, I'm coming. <coughs> Gets back, lads get all the kit, great. But I was like, mm, not seeing my kids, not, not spent any time with them. And then he's all suited and booted for I the think that's Wembley day. I point to just touch on as well, though, like the role that we have within the club, like, you know, obviously Rach is a great supporter and that of the club, but. Mate, she thinks she's part of the board. <laughs> she <laughs> keep, is. Keep kicking her off every day. Rachel in, Mark Pye out. But, that's but, that's my slogan. Like, it's really important to acknowledge, like, you know, when, when match day comes, certainly at home, they're secondary. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Fair it play is. and respect to them. It, it's, for, yeah, to stick I mean, by you, mate. Oh, you got Rach behind the bar just so that she's. Exactly. She and she runs around every week. Mate, it's genius move. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, you go on the footy every week. Yeah, do you want to work behind the bar? She clearly doesn't listen to the podcast either. Yeah. <laughs> but then, then it went from like, it I went from you, like <laughs> don't be creeping on it. Um, but it went from like a bit of a bit of a wild day the night before. Like, but we, we was dead organised. It was dead good. And then 
sort of waking up on the, I got, got up dead early on the Saturday morning, we all went down for breakfast, everyone's in there. It's all like nervous, no nervous tension and a bit like, mm, it's a big day, massive. And it, you could feel it, everyone was nervous. And it's about creating the right atmosphere for the lads. Just relaxed, trying to be, enjoy it, get the best out of the day. Um, did look. So they could go and shit themselves. <laughs> like yeah, that. pretty much. <laughs> but you know, it, it was more about them enjoying the day, you know, and, and like memories from Wembley are fantastic from the day. Um, so then you go in and then you're in the Royal Box for the game. So there was whatever, like 20 was in the Royal Box. And it was all a bit weird because of Covid as well. So it didn't help. Mm. Um, so you're going in, limited on numbers of sports you can have, limited on all the rest of it. And I just, like one sort of the high point of it was when the final whistle went, like, like the last few minutes when it went like close. And was what like, was the final score? 3-2. Three, three, two. Two. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like we were flying, Elliot, Elliot and Everett's had a storming game and should have killed it at the end. He had a chance where his legs went and he was knackered. But yeah, what a player. Um, and it was like getting to that bit and that final whistle went and I just remember turning around to Eve and giving her a hug and just burst into tears. So obviously she's felt it, she's felt yeah, the pressure yeah, all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was just like a big family hug. And it was just like that moment you stood in your country's capital of your sport that you love. National Stadium. National Stadium, having a hug with your family, yeah. winning a trophy there, and you'd go in, you'll never take that away from me. You will never ever take that away from me because that was the best not moment. not many people get to do it, Mark, no. is there? Mm -hmm. so and it's just on that in an episode, amazing like, moment. That's an achievement. Yeah, as a family. Thousands of football clubs yeah. across the country I'll never experience. But that, that was me, me biggest sort of... I love this. I love that that feeling. You will never ever get that feeling again. And then obviously you turn around, shake hands with everybody, and then you're going back in like, I'm, not, I'm a lad from Busey who's in the Royal Box at Wembley. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm like thinking, wow, yeah. this is just crackers. Yeah. And then all the players are in, and I went. I got like luckily I had a as part of the directs of the club. You get a pitch pass, so you get down. You go in the Royal Elevator, the Royal the Lift, Royal, the Royal, Royal Lift, Lift Elevator. How royal is it? Don't know where that came from. Tell us about the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> that's shiny knobs. Um, I think I've been rubbing them a few times. Um, but yeah, I just went down, was on the pitch, got to walk around, got to do celebrations with the lads, and it was just magic experience, really magic. Like That little bit there was just like, if you could yeah. bottle that, yeah, yeah, you'd yeah, make yeah. millions out of it, honestly, because yeah. that, that feeling of... And, it, and I've, I think, though, after that, I was just drained. Yeah. I think it just hit me, like, really. Got back, we had a meal, it was lovely, and we all like, sang and had a bit of a dance and enjoyed the night. But I was just done. Like, I was just so I done. And... adrenaline, once it kicks and then it drops, then it's like... But you get to spend it with some fantastic people, like, yeah. really good, and and nice memories, people. And though, that, like, really, really connect people yeah. as well. Yeah, of course they did. And uh, it's something that I'll always look back on as... It was a tough time because it was hard work. I didn't really probably enjoy it as much as I should have. I didn't value it as much as I should have. I think with stuff like that, though, that happens, doesn't it? You, you hear a lot of ex-players. I think it was Rio Ferdinand was talking about his time at United and saying, we never really got to enjoy it. Mm. It was like, right, we've won that, now on to the next thing, we've won yeah. that, on to the next thing. He said, I just wish it had taken a few more moments so to yeah. appreciate and reflect it. But when you're caught up in it... Yeah. It, well, you, yeah, but you, you, you're, like, you're busy and you're thinking about the next thing that's coming. And you are trying to organise like 20 lads that are nuts and yeah. like they're all buzzing because they've won and you don't want to take that away from them because it's yeah. something that, you know, some of them are going to achieve more things, but some of them might not. Yeah. That's their biggest time in football, so you want them to enjoy it. Yeah. But you've also got your family with you that are also enjoying it and you're trying to sort of split yourself in that many directions and going, I've got to do the club stuff because that's what we're here for. Yeah. I've got to do my family stuff because I'm going to get grief forever. Yeah. And like the... The, the madness of it all is like, obviously, we had to ensure the trophy. So, coming back. So, I ended up with the trophy in my house. So, I've got a photo of me and Rake sat on the settee with the FA bar sat between us. And it's like, no, you can't take it anywhere until you sign these forms to yeah. ensure it. Because we, because Heaven had played, um, Heaven are doing really well this season as well. Good luck yeah. to you guys. Um, but Heaven had won it the week before and they'd got the replica. Yeah. And we'd got the original. FA bar trophy, so it was worth a few quid. Yeah. When I say a few quid, a lot of, a lot of quid. Yeah, a lot of money. So we had to get it insured and then take it back, wasn't I? I'm sat with it in my front room going, where am I putting this? Drinking like, lager out <laughs> Yeah. <of it>. <laughs> <laughs> like, and Rachel's going, we're not doing a photo with it. I'm like, yeah, we are. Do you, do yeah, know, we are. do you know what, though, mate? I think it's like on a, on, a, on a smaller scale, far smaller scale, but still the same sort of feeling. When we go away, I 
at like I do enjoy the away games yeah, more because yeah. obviously when we're here like, you, the, you, you're busy you're looking after people you, you speak to everyone I don't get me wrong I love all that I totally yeah. love it but when you go away it's like we get looked after yeah. and we get to kind of not have to worry about really anything other than the match itself yeah. and I think that's why that, well that's why yeah. sometimes we end up coming back a bit worse for wear <laughs> yeah, we, we, you have, know, you have a day out don't we yeah, yeah we have a day out I just think you, 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 you've sort of got to that point where you're going, this is the biggest, you know what, you built it up in your own, it's the biggest game in the club's history, yeah. it's massive, it's televised on BT Sport, and you're like adding your own pressure yeah, to yeah, yourself, yeah. so you're up at like five in the morning going, it's yeah, going to be a long day. I don't know if you turn it up on a pitch. I dread to think what players do, you know when like big games, like World Cup, like, like like I was drained, honestly, I was done, by the time I got back to the hotel, I was like, I want some food, I want a beer, and then yeah, I'm going to bed, yeah, I'm done, yeah. I just want to get you, And you actually think it's going to be this like, Big wild mad celebration. Mm. Actually, it's more like that relief feeling, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Where you just go, we've done it, done, we've yeah, done it, and done I can it. just chill yeah. out. Now. Yeah, and it, it was a, it was a, it was a good time, but there was also like it was draining. Yeah, and like yeah. when I got back, I was like, I just want to go home now. Yeah. I did like once I got back to the hotel, I was like, I'd rather just get on the coach now and go back to Warrington and yeah. celebrate with a few people here and have a bit of a day because that was my idea of what we wanted to do and it didn't help we was like miles away from anywhere in the hotel yeah like we was literally in the middle of nowhere yeah. and it was like so the lads couldn't go anywhere we couldn't do anything no, they just went straight back to the hotel and yeah and then we, they, they, they called the big wing off this massive hotel off just for us and went just get on with it yeah. like we're not see you later come and just, just crack on just don't make too much mess do you know, yeah. do you know what's Unlucky. another weird thing I've seen in football go on Andy Martin admitting he was a Chelsea fan <laughs> That is that. Oh, that shocked me. That really shocked me. That, the, uh, a, I was shocked. A, a scouser who's a Chelsea fan. It comes from it's growing wrong. up around them, though, doesn't it? Like yeah. I grew up surrounded by Liverpool fans and United fans. And yeah, you can't like any of them. How do you break the stage? Oh, oh well. steady on. So, um, yeah, no, so but yeah. that was a revelation he revealed around the uh, yeah, around the table on our Christmas night. Oh, I was a it? bit odd that. It's yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> 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 There's a few little songs that came out. Good work. But no, yeah, we went off on a slight tangent there. Yeah, sorry, yeah, go on. Yeah, have we got, got any, anything else you want to throw at us this week? Just questions about um, the managerial situation at the club. No change. No yeah, change. Yeah, I think That's... from that perspective, we are where we are, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. It Sam, is what it is. Sam, Sammy's at the wheel, as they say. Sammy's and, exactly. and, and Dino's at the wheel. And they've got a pair of them doing a fantastic job. No change. Um, and obviously questions about players of the season and so on and so forth. Again, you know... Got our awards. We, 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 we got our awards next, we, so let's not let anything we, out there. We can't give anything away. We've had some of the votes are in for some of them, some of them are still to come, but I'll tell you what, I had a good one. We'll Sorry. On the 13th. How are we for time? I'll throw this in. Go on, I'll give you it. So <laughs> someone asked me, Lewis it was as well, he's a good, good lad. Lewis, um, making up songs in his van as we speak. Um, more, actually. What is your back four beers? Draft beers, draft lager. Back four draft beers? Yes, You've got to be lager. Do. Right, you, Guinness, you Guinness, 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 Guinness. Go on. So I'm going Guinness. I'm going Guinness. Uh, are no, we doing no. a back five? Including the keeper. Five. All right, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sorry, Lewis. We're going to do it. Let's do it properly. Thanks for your question, mate, but we'll just totally do something completely <laughs> so, different. So back, back five. I'll give you back five. So back five. So I'm going Guinness in nets. Solid, reliable, steady. I love it. I'm, going, yes. I'm having Guinness in gold. Guinness in nets. Get in. Um, I like that. Uh, centre half, I'm Ooh. going Stella. Stella, right, right side centre half, I'm going Stella. Just no messing about. And if you're gonna, and, and if you're gonna, if you if you want a bit, come on, we'll have it. You know what I mean? Would you have the cloudy one? Do you know the, the unfiltered one? Ooh. Uh, if we're playing in Europe, <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah. I'm not even having that. I'm not even. I'm not even, even second you on a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, the centre half pairing, I'd go with um, Low and Brown. Low, Low and brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still make that. Yeah, they still make it, and it's still loopy juice. So I've got a pair of nutters as centre half, basically. Um, right back, bit classy, can get forward a bit. Peroni. Ooh, I like your thinking on that one. Yeah. And then left back. Why has he gone first again? Just, just because it's a fan's favourite. You've got to go the Madri, haven't you? Ooh. Got to get the at left back. Yeah, yeah. So that's where I hope that. Schooner on the bench, yeah. <laughs> Schooner's in the reserves, mate. <laughs> no way. Right, so I'm, I'm sticking with Guinness in goal. He's a great choice. Solid. I think I like a bit of a, a bit of flair on the right, so I'm going Estrella. 
Oh, right, OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my two centres. I'd go Madri as a centre because it makes you nuts. <laughs> Madri is not good for you. Uh, so Madri as a centre. And you know what? I go for like a Bex. Oh! Oh, Randomly. German signing. Solid, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they are. They don't miss pens. And then I'd like a bit of flair on the left, but I'm really struggling. Ooh. I think you're... Erdinger. Erdinger. Oh, mate, oh, blows your head off. signing that, mate. Blows your head off and, like, literally, you can't drink it all. <laughs> Mark could have skull on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with skull. <laughs> no, we'd have a... Uh, what's that thing? Tenant super strength. Tenant super... <laughs> on the <laughs> bench. Tenant super. <laughs> <laughs> on the bench. Bring on for a bit of aggro. Mate, so, I remember uh, I went to watch uh, Harry Styles. Big fan. Harry Styles <laughs> in, um, in Murrayfield. Oh, mate, loved it. Murrayfield. And that's all he served. Tenants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember doing the uh, the brewery tour. That was horrendous. Was it? Yeah, Do not I like don't understand a word he was saying. <laughs> like, let, let's not Scottish offend everybody. <laughs> <laughs> all, our, all, all the Rangers Celtic fans out there, thanks very much. And it was Andy Martin who said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Our friends at St Johnson, we just sold a Dharma team. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. Um, no, so there, I, I think that's it. What about a star of Prama? I, I, Ooh, he, he, nice he, that. Flair mid, Flair midfielder for me. He's yeah. not, he's not getting in the back four. Who's uh, your striker? Just striker. go off the back for Don't have to name all the rest of for something that's absolutely potent. And, yeah, 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 you know what I mean. You have to have a, a shot up yeah. front. Um, can we have? Um, <laughs> I'm sick what of about, that. Uh, what about an absinthe up front? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Black sambuca. So if you want to uh, if you want to message in with any of your other beverages or foods uh, <laughs> starting yeah, eleven, then, then, then let let us know and we'll give we'll give it a start. Andy's not done his back five. Oh, I'm still thinking. I, I, I just got Guinness. Or Andy Jinx right Bina. Fruit shoot right back. Kiora in the middle. <laughs> the Capri Sun. <laughs> yeah, Capri Sun. <laughs> Classic. I think there's a there's a lot to be said for some. You know what though? I, I like going to different grounds and getting the different. Like the beers that they've got, because yeah, yeah, they've yeah. all got different ones on. I know we usually stick to Guinness, but yeah. when there's not Guinness on or whatever, but it's nice to have a, a few it's different right, beverages, because we just go Maybe madry mad here. Island's Ale. We've got one? Well, we've, we, we, we've got we one. We did have one, didn't well, we? Well, we had one. It was the Pilsner uh, 1906 Pilsner, yeah. but it uh, tasted like badger piss. <laughs> so yeah, it didn't it wasn't really great. sell that well. So oh, yeah. maybe we'll get a better brew and then we'll uh, get that, it up for next season. Sutty and that liked it. They didn't drink their own piss, never know. <laughs> yeah, never <laughs> like some of the videos I've seen of them two <laughs> at two I mean? in the morning are not great, so hey. yeah, they probably would. For real. So. Oh, goes really good. Listen, it's been good again. Yeah, good to speak, good it to catch therapy, up. Yeah, yeah and, you get it uh, off your chest, don't you? As always, thanks to everyone for listening, thanks to the supporters, fans, volunteers, staff, everyone who's involved in the yeah, club. Always. And uh, we're looking forward to the running, and hopefully we'll have lots more... Good days and celebrations to come yeah. over the next few weeks. Let, and like you said before, let's just enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. Let's, no 100%. pressure. We'll enjoy Definitely it. Definitely yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you Cheers, soon, guys. guys.